experiencing conditions like cystic acne, subclinical acne, rosacea, dermatitis, even dandruff. The issue might not be the skincare products that you're using, it might actually be the pH level of your entire routine. So let's talk about pH. Why does pH matter? It's not a complicated concept. Actually, pH just stands for potential hydrogen level, but none of that matters. It's just a measure of acidity. So on one end of this pH scale, you've got zero, which is super acidic, that's like battery acid. On the other end of the scale, you've got 14, which is really high alkalinity, so something like bleach. And our skin doesn't sit in the middle, which is pH balanced at seven, that's neutral. It's actually slightly acidic, so our skin's pH is around 5.5. So it's towards the acidic side, and in order to maintain really good skin, your skincare routine needs to not dramatically change the pH of your skin. So think of 5.5 pH as hashtag skin goals. Now the pH of your skincare can impact the pH levels of your skin. So if pH levels matter, then why would you use products that are either too acidic or too alkaline? They do have a place in your skincare routine, so you need a little bit of alkalinity to clean. So for example, black coffee is at a pH of 5.5. And if you've tried washing your face at black coffee, you probably realize it doesn't clean all that well. So you need a pH of say six or seven or even eight to give your skin a really deep clean. But your skin doesn't need a deep clean all the time. So think of a high pH cleanser as something that you use more as a luxury or as a one-off. On the other end of the scale, you've got highly acidic skincare. So for example, skincare that's at a pH of three, um, of even 3.5 or as low as 2.5. And commonly these skincare products are vitamin C, they're um, you know, exfoliants like BHAs and AHAs. And the reason why they're at a pH of that level is because you need a low pH to be properly absorbed into your skin. So you need a really high absorbing, low pH skincare products and you occasionally need high pH cleansing products. But majority of your skincare and your regular products, so the stuff that you use every day, like your regular cleanser, etc., that needs to be around the pH of 5.5. So the sweet spot that we're talking about is between about 4.5 to 6.5. So you wanna make sure that the regular things that you're using fall within that pH. Um, and the quickest way to uh, make the adjustment to your skincare routine is by adjusting your cleanser because your cleanser is typically going to be a high pH item. So you wanna opt for your regular twice daily cleanser to be on the lower pH side, but not too low. So we're thinking, you know, four to five to 6.5. Why does pH actually matter? Well, too low pH can irritate your skin. So think about overusing acids. Um, it makes your skin raw, it makes your skin red. So, you know, acids do make your skin look really plump and great and brighter, as does vitamin C, but you don't wanna be overdoing it. And high pH is too cleansing, it dries out your skin, it irritates. Both sides of the scale can damage your skin barrier and a weakened skin barrier leads to a lot of conditions so cystic acne gets worsened by a damaged skin barrier so does rosacea so does dermatitis and if you've tried everything to get rid of dandruff um, so you've used the you know anti-dandruff shampoos and they, your dandruff still keeps coming back the issue might actually be the ph of your shampoo so for whatever reason out there Shampoo's pH tends to be ridiculously high. And part of it is to get all the oil and dirt out of your hair, which is sort of stubborn to clean. So when you're cleaning with shampoo, and if you have oily hair and if your hair gets dirty, try and concentrate the shampoo uh, on the sort of ends of your hair, the mid to the ends. And with your scalp, just wash it with a low pH body wash or face wash. And that'll make a dramatic difference to your skin's health. For a more in-depth assessment of pH, just head on over to the Canvas blog. It's on www.canvasbeauty.com.au and over there you've got how to readjust your uh, skincare routine, um, how to fix your skin's pH, how to also lower or increase your skin's pH if your skin's pH is out of whack and 
what's the best pH to get maximum absorption out of your product. So if your vitamin C doesn't seem to make you glow or if acids aren't really doing much for you, your skin might actually be at a too high pH level after cleansing and needs to be brought back down with a good toner or good essence. So we've got plenty of products that we suggest as well. Give them a try, it might be right for you and it might get you the most out of your skincare. Thank you.